We're going to do a little magic that involves taking a trip back in time. Think of something you remember when you were a kid. For me, it was the time I told my best friend that I thought Maureen Martin was cute. She had red hair, the hottest girl in the school. She was 11 years old. I was 10 years old. So she was an older woman and carved her initials in a heart in the side of an oak tree that was in the front of our yard. And that's exactly what I did. Large heart with P, G, plus M. She was so embarrassed that I did that, she never spoke to me again. You know, I, I was heartbroken. We're gonna see if we can duplicate that memory now. I'm going to take and place a heart, just like I carved on the oak tree many years ago. And in the middle of it, I'll place a little plus sign. Just like that. Tell me what your initials were in middle school. What were your initials? A, B. Oh, that's easy. A, just like that? Exactly. Okay, great. Now place your thumb right on top so it won't blow away. But on this heart, I'm going to do something a little different. What did I make? A broken heart. Okay. Broken heart. Exactly. Broken heart. <laughs> now, yeah, broken heart. Exactly. Now you're thinking of someone who perhaps broke your heart like Maureen Martin broke mine, and the initials are? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, is there any way I could know who KG is? Not a, not a chance in the world. There's no way I could have known you were going to say GF, right? right? Is there any way I could know who JR is? No. no. And you might not have thought of this person in many years. Watch closely and we'll see if we can actually heal a broken heart. Watch the GF. Watch the a broken